Hello friends, welcome to our BC Kids Sunday School time together. My name is Miss Susie. I'm so excited to be joining you today. We just finished up week two of our vacation Bible school and we're moving on to week three. And this week we're going to learn that Jesus' power helps us be bold to tell others about God's great love. Do you know what a leader looks like? Can you name a few? What about a president, a governor, a mayor, your school principal, your teachers, your parents? What about your pastor? All of these are examples of leaders. In today's story, we're going to learn about the first king of Israel who leads God's people. But before we get into our story, let's pray. Will you put your hands together, bow your heads, and repeat with me? God, we thank you for our family and our Bear Creek friends. Help us listen and learn together how you call us to lead others to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Now, grab your Bibles. We're going to be reading from the first book of Samuel. This is found in the Old Testament. Our story today comes from 1 Samuel chapter 7 and 8. Let's listen to our story. a great message. Thanks, Caleb. Hey, kids. Pastor Kim, I have a question. Sure. What's up? Why do you always wear that scarf around your neck? <laughs> it does look like a scarf, doesn't it? It's actually a stole. It's what a pastor wears as a sign of God's call to be a minister. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. When did you decide you were going to become a minister? I felt God's call long ago. You felt a call? What does that mean? I sure did. When I was about your age, I was at a kid's camp and I went forward for prayer. And while I was praying, I felt in my heart that God wanted me to become a pastor. God wanted me to preach the good news of Jesus' love. This reminds me of when God called Samuel and Saul. Why don't you tell us that Bible story, Asia? The Israelites wanted a king, but Samuel wasn't sure that was a good idea. Samuel prayed to God about it, and God answered and said, Give the people what they ask for, but warn them and let them know what will happen when a king rules over the land. Samuel approached the leaders and told them exactly what God had said and what would happen if they had a king in Israel. You see, a king would take whatever he wanted and make people serve him, but the leaders didn't listen. We want a king! Samuel gathered all the Israelites together. He told them that the Lord was going to give them a king. Samuel looked in all Israel for a king. God told them that they would know who God had called to be king because he would be hiding in the supplies. They found Saul. He was a foot taller than everyone else. He really stood out in the crowd. When Saul came forward, the people became very excited. Thanks. You're a good storyteller, Asia. How will I know if I'm called to do something? Through prayer and our church community. When we pray to God and talk to each other, we know what God calls us to do. I feel like God wants me to be a news anchor. That's cool, Asia. TV is a great way to tell people about God's love. Oh, I see. God doesn't always call us to be ministers. That's right. God can call you to share God's love in all kinds of ways. What does God ask you to do? That was a great story. God called Saul to be a king. But Saul didn't know how to be a king. God helped Saul prepare for the new job he called him to do. To be a good leader, you don't have to know all the answers, but you do have to trust that God will help you prepare for the job he's called you to do. 
God isn't calling to us to be a king or a queen like in our story, but he is calling us to be good leaders. You can be a good leader and tell your friends about God's love. You can be a good leader in your home and be a good example to your brothers and sisters. What kind of leader do you want to be when you grow up? In your church, community, or in your workplace? What job is God calling you to do right now? I hope you'll trust God to show you how to be a good leader. Let's pray. God, thank you for choosing us to be leaders. Help us trust you so that we can become the leaders you have called us to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I hope to see you again next week.